Iran has already qualified to the 2022 World Cup, but there are still qualifiers left to play. On today's episode, we will recap Iran's match against the UAE. We've got highlights, analysis, meta of the match, and final thoughts. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Eli Talk. Everyone was in good spirits as Iran prepared to host the United Arab Emirates. Hey everyone, glad you're back for some more Team Melee Talk. Let's get right to the starting 11 that took the pitch against the UAE. No change again in goal, Amir Abidzadi gets the start. And as for the back line, Milad Mohamedi back in the starting lineup. Omid Nurafkan slides over to the center back position to fill in for suspended Shoja Khaliazadeh. And as for the other two, Hossein Kanani as the other center back and Sadek Moharami as the right back. As for the midfielders, Vahid Amiri, Saeed Ezatolahi, and Saman Godous. The same three attackers up top, Ali Reza Jahanbash, Mehdi Tarmi, and Ali Golizadeh. How would Iran play after clinching a spot in the 2022 World Cup? Well, let's go to the first half highlights. Iran on the move in the 19th minute, but UAE keeper Ali Khasaif comes off his line quickly to take away a scoring chance from Ali Reza Jahanbash. A counter-attack almost leads to a goal for Ali Reza Jahanbash, but his shot barely misses the far post. Two minutes later, a chance for Golizade, but his shot goes over the bar. A free kick for the UAE in the 39th minute, but the shot from Al Ahbabi is an easy one for Abidzade. Two minutes later, a corner kick for Iran. Vahid Amiri with the volley, but it goes a little high. Iran knocking on the door. Team Eli on the move. Across from Jahanbash. Golizadeh's header hits the post, but Mehdi Tarabi pounces on the rebound. Iran takes a 1-0 lead. Perfect timing right before the end of the half. A couple of yellow cards were a concern for Iran, but great to see Mehdi Tarabi doing what he does best finding the back of the net. Let's go to the second half highlights. A reckless challenge from Moharami, his second yellow card. Moharami is sent off, Iran reduced to 10 men. UAE on the attack, a shot from Tahnoun Al-Zabi is saved by Amir Abedzadeh in the 57th minute. But Iran refused to park the bus and waste time, and Tarami comes close to getting his second of the match but he puts this ball over the bar in the 60th minute. Iran again looking to extend the lead, but this blast from Jahanbash is saved by Khasaif. Khasaif called into action again, but this time he saves a header from Omid Nurafkan. Time winding down, a header from Sebastian Tagliabu, and Amir Abedzadeh says, I got this. But that's the way it would end. Another qualifier for Iran, another victory, and another clean sheet. We all know that phrase, winning cures everything. Yes, Iran won again, seven wins and one draw out of eight matches in the final round, but this was not an impressive performance for Iran at home against the UAE. In fact, I was expecting a 3-0 victory. And early on, the UAE had more possession than Iran. And here are the reasons why Iran was not looking good during the first 10 minutes of the match. Giveaways in the middle third of the field, poor positioning, bad first touches, inaccurate passes, and ball watching. Both teams are playing a 4-3-3 formation. And you can't be surprised. Obviously, both managers did their homework before the match. In the previous edition of Team LA Talk, my keys to victory were press the UAE defenders and watch the long ball. Iran did press the UAE defenders and sometimes keeper Ali Khasaif, and a decent number of moves started with left back Mahmoud Al-Hamadi Plenty of passes toward the center of the pitch were broken up. And you can't be surprised about this, the UAE does have a very weak central midfield. And as we saw, the UAE did use a long ball strategy, and any of their good attacks actually came as a result of giveaways from Iran in the middle third of the field. Looking back at this game, I have to express my disappointment when it comes to discipline. Sadek Moharami getting sent off early in the second half was unacceptable. Playing with 10 men is never fun. But it could have been a lot worse if Iran was playing against a better opposition. And of course, to many people's surprise, Iran did have some scoring chances in the second half, despite having to play with 10 men. 
On a brighter note, Ali Golizade was named man of the match. As always, he showed his speed, ball control, and excellent ball distribution skills. And to be fair, choosing the man of the match was difficult for me because Mehdi Tarmi was great once again. Not only finding the back of the net, but also does a good job stepping back and providing support during attacks. Now what about you? Who was your man of the match in the win over the UAE? Leave a comment down below. Always looking forward to getting your input. I am glad Iran continues to win in the final round of qualifying, and I am obviously very excited for the 2022 World Cup. But Iran must play against better opposition in order to have a chance at finally getting to the second round of the World Cup. And let's not forget, the next qualifier will be the showdown away from home against rivals, South Korea, definitely one you do not want to miss. And that's it everybody for this edition of Team LA Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teamletalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team LA, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team LA Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team LA Talk.